Hello, Dan Galpski here and welcome to my fourth Arduino tutorial from my Arduino tutorial series. Uh, today I will talk about uh, motors. Uh, first I will talk about uh, DC motors. Actually, uh, how to control uh, the speed of a DC motor. I will use a, a CPU fan to uh, control its uh, speed. And then also I will talk about uh, servo motors and uh, controlling uh, their position. Okay, so we are going to use the transistor for uh, controlling an uh, externally powered uh, motor. So a transistor consists of uh, three pins, a collector, a base and an uh, emitter. And the current that flows uh, in the transistor uh, goes from the uh, collector to the emitter and uh, it depends on the uh, state of the base. So the base uh, works actually as a gate that is uh, closing and opening and uh, allows a different amount of uh, current to flow through the uh, transistor. This is the schematic we are going to use to control the uh, speed of the motor. So here is the uh, transistor, the motor and the external power supply. I'm using a 12 volts from an uh, adapter and also it can be used uh, 9 volts from a battery. So this is the uh, closed circuit. Uh, in which is uh, enabled the uh, current to flow and uh, depending on the uh, amount that, uh, of current that flows uh, through the motor uh, depends the speed of the motor so uh, that uh, current we are controlling uh, as we said before with the transistor so uh, the base of the uh, transistor is uh, connected to pin 7 or it can be connected to uh, any uh, other PWM uh, uh, pin uh, in the Arduino. It is also connected through a 1K resistor that uh, actually uh, protects the uh, Arduino pin from uh, from the uh, 12 volt 12 volts uh, here. And uh, we are also using a, a capacitor and a diode just to uh, give a protection from a noise and uh, spikes. I will make an example where I will use the uh, potentiometer to control the uh, motor speed. So uh, here is the uh, transistor, the motor and the external power supply. And uh, here's how the uh, current will flow from the uh, battery. It goes into the uh, motor and through the motor uh, goes uh, through the transistor and through the transistor goes uh, back again uh, into the power supply and that's how the uh, circuit is closed. So uh, here uh, in the transistor we are controlling uh, the speed by controlling the uh, the base actually which is connected to uh, pin number 7 and that pin uh, gives a pulse with a modulated signal which depends on the uh, on the analog input from the uh, potentiometer. First, I will give a name to the pin 7 that I will use it as a uh, PWM output. I will name it uh, PW pin. Next, uh, in the setup, I will start a serial communication at uh, 9600 bits per second. And uh, also, I will uh, initialize the pin number 7 as an output. Here in the loop, first I need to read the value from the potentiometer. Uh, that value I will put it into a new variable uh, I will name the new variable pot value and uh, I will use the analog read function to read the to read the input Okay, so next I need to uh, 
map the value from the potentiometer into a new suitable range so that I can use it to uh, control the duty cycle of the PWM signal. Uh, I will name that new uh, variable new pot value and I will use the map function to do that. So the variable pot value I will uh, remap it. It's range from uh, 0 to 1023 into a new range of uh, 0 to 255. And now with that range, uh, we can uh, change the we can change the the duty cycle of the the pulse uh, with a modulated signal. and that will uh, goes into the base of the transistor and uh, that will uh, control the speed of the motor so using this code we can uh, control the speed of the uh, DC motor so here I am using the potentiometer to control the duty cycle of the pulse with a modulated signal that goes into the base of the transistor to uh, control the uh, amount of uh, current that flows uh, through the transistor and that uh, controls the, uh, the speed of the motor. Okay, so I will use this schematic to uh, control the uh, servo motor. A typical uh, hobbyist servo motor uh, has uh, three wires. Uh, that's the the black one, the the red and uh, white or yellow wire. And the first the first two wires, the black and the red one, are for uh, powering the motor. So we connect the black wire to the uh, ground and the the red wire to to the five volts and uh, we can do that directly to the uh, arduino card because uh, i'm going to use a servo motor that uh, requires only uh, five volts and uh, with the uh, uh, with the yellow uh, wire uh, we uh, we are connecting it to uh, to the pin 7 or any other uh, pwm uh, pin and uh, now we can uh, program the uh, arduino uh, so that uh, from that uh, pin uh, we send uh, a signal uh, to the motor for the position of the of the shaft of the motor or the angle from uh, 0 to uh, 180 degrees and uh, that will depends on the position of the potentiometer okay so first i need to uh, include the servo library Okay, now uh, with this library, we can simply just send uh, values from 0 to 180 degrees for the desired position of the motor. The library itself uh, will do all the work behind to get the motor to that angle. So also we need to create an object uh, to control the servo. I will name it uh, my servo. In the setup, uh, uh, we need to attach the servo on pin uh, number 7 to the server object. We do that like this. Servo, attach pin number 7. Okay. And in the loop, we will build our program. First, I will uh, declare a new variable. I will name it pot value 
to uh, track the uh, position of the potentiometer I will use the analog read function to read from the input that is connected to A0 pin then I uh, have to map the range from 0 to 1023 I am getting from the potentiometer to a range from uh, 0 to 180 that we will use for uh, controlling the angle of the motor so that new that new uh, variable I will name it angle value and using this map function I will map this pot value variable from its range 0 to 1022 into the new range of 0 to 180 now that value we will attach it uh, to the servo my servo so we are just sending uh, the value for the desired angle and the and the library uh, behind uh, do all the job uh, to get the motor to that position so with this code we can uh, control the position of the servo motor so here the code is uploaded to the Arduino card and uh, using the potentiometer I am controlling the position of the servo motor. If you have any questions, you can ask them uh, in the comments section. And uh, also, if you like my videos, please subscribe, like and uh, share them.